Welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18, and in today's video, going to be rebuilding the Atlanta Hawks. Obviously, the Hawks now one of the worst teams in the NBA after this offseason. They did lose Paul Millsap to free agency, ended up signing with the Denver Nuggets. Um, but honestly, I think it was time for them to go into a new direction anyways. Obviously, the offseason uh, prior to that, they did lose out on Al Horford. He went over to the Celtics, and then they did trade Dwight Howard, who they did sign right after, I believe, Al Horford decided to sign with the Celtics. They're just going into total rebuild mode. Obviously, the Hawks are one of those teams that are just always good enough to pretty much be in the playoffs, but they're never even close to being good enough to be able to win the championship. So they did go in a new direction. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of what I wanted them to do, just being a general fan of the NBA, just improving the culture of this team. So looking at the rest of this roster, or what's left of this roster anyways, uh, Dennis Schroeder's interesting. He still is young. He's making He has a relatively cheap deal for what I'm hoping he can be. Um, I'm not sure how well he's going to progress, but as long as he puts up good stats, I wouldn't mind keeping him because, again, he is a guy that I don't yet too often not able to use too often so Schroeder is a guy I might actually keep for this whole video I know it might be a surprise unless he has great trade value and I can get a really good offer for him then I'll trade him the rest of this roster though Marco Bellinelli is free to go he's on a one-year deal I'm going to probably trade him just because I'm probably not going to resign him actually does he have a team option or player option um, no, he doesn't. Anyways, uh, John Collins, 19th pick. Yep, 19th overall pick uh, in this previous year's draft. He's already a 77 overall, so that gives me some hope that he can one day be our star power forward. Making cheap money this whole video, more than happy to keep him. Uh, Dwayne Dedman on a one-year deal. I believe he has a, a player option. So, I'm, I like Dwayne Dedman in real life. I was hoping he signed with the Celtics. Obviously, it didn't happen, but... Dwayne Edmonds interesting. He's probably going to start at center for us this year. And then the rest of this team's just pretty much all trash. A bunch of overplayed, or not a bunch of overplayed players, a few like Miles Plumlee. I'm pretty sure they traded him for Dwight Howard. Uh, and then I don't know why Ersan Eliasov is like, it's $6 million, not bad. I just don't know why he's on this team. Kent Bazemore is making way too much money. Um, yeah. So a lot of moves to make with this team, but I'm probably honestly going to leave it the way it is for season number one. Like, maybe I honestly won't even make a trade. Like, I honestly might not even like. I don't even care too much. Like, I'm probably not going to get anything great for Bellinelli anyways. Like, could I get anything for Bellinelli? If I can get a decent offer, like maybe a younger guy on a, that's still a shooting guard on a cheaper deal for longer, might go ahead and take it. But if not, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the uh, roster the way it is for year number one. Hopefully, we can be terrible. JJ Reddick's not bad. He's still on a one-year deal, though. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Um, Frank Kaminsky's not bad. Jordan Clarkson. Oh, and I get Zubach. I think I'm going to do that. That's actually one hell of an offer. Luke Kennard's there. Actually, do I want Luke Kennard? I don't feel like I don't ever trade for Luke Kennard. And I do trade for um, Jordan Clarkson quite a bit. Yeah, I'm going to trade for Luke Kennard just because he does have a good trade value or decently good trade value. And I kind of do want to keep this team young. Um, so I think Luke Kennard is going to be, I mean, he's going to be here for at least one year. I'm pretty sure he progresses actually relatively decently. Like not great, I don't think. But I think it's better than you would think. Malcolm Delaney is not going to get any minutes. Um, Plumlee is not going to get any minutes actually either. 25 minutes, um, you're going to play 35. Kennard's going to play 32. I just want my young guys getting minutes. I know Prince is still young. Uh, you're going to be playing 34. Deadman can play 39, and then Bazemore can play 23. Ish Smith can play 22. It doesn't really matter to me. So this team's not looking great at all. It's actually looking relatively terrible. Scoring options, I think I'm going to do Schroeder, Kennard, and then Collins. Uh, Schroeder, Kennard, and then Collins. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Hopefully we meet a very good pick in next year's draft. Stephen Curry is your MVP here at the end of season number one. Puts up 30 points, 5.5 rebounds, 8, eight assists, excuse me, 2.5 steals, no block. Uh, Lonzo wins Rookie of the Year for the Lakers. Jeremy Lin, Sixth Man of the Year. Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year. Jerry and Grant most improved. How much did he really improve? I'm honestly interested. He went from, okay, that's actually an improvement, but it's not. I mean, I don't know if it's most improved, but it's improved. Uh, Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. The Warriors go 65 and 17 first in the Western Conference. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, let's just see. Do we have um, John Collins? All rookie first team, 100% will take. Uh, not going to sugarcoat it. We went 16 and 66. It happens. Sometimes this uh, simulator can be very, very stupid. I mean, we were terrible, but I didn't think 16 games was necessary. But, you know, we're going to get the number one overall pick, hopefully. Luke Kennard led us in scoring. This is why I traded for the dude, because he's that he does that. 20 points. He honestly could have won rookie of the year. I mean, Lonzo was maybe better, but 20 points, four rebounds, four and a half assists. It's definitely great for a rookie. Uh, then Schroeder put up 19 and a half points, three and a half rebounds, seven assists. No reason to trade him right now. John Collins, almost a double-double as a rookie. Not bad. Prince wasn't terrible. Uh, Smith wasn't terrible. Rebounds was kind of an issue. Collins and Deadman led us in that. And then assists with Schroeder and Kennard. All right. We clearly did not make the playoffs going 16 and 66, which is, you know what happens. I wasn't planning on making the playoffs, and it's, oh, wow, the Hornets are going on a run. Hornets are going on a run. Pistons and Warriors in the finals, and no. The, okay, I thought the Pistons were going to win the finals. Kevin Durant is your finals MVP. No shock there. Um, So, offseason is big in this one. Uh, let's see. Who is, 
who is the coach? It's Stan Van Gundy, right? Or did he get fired? I think it's okay. Well, it was Stan Van Gundy. Um, I think I could just be an idiot and it might not be, but um, then Tony won't accept. If not, um, I'll just take um, Trent Peterson. Hopefully, he can accept as well. And D'Antoni's not going to accept. Can we get... Okay, we got Peterson. Works for me. Uh, how's our trainer? Our trainer's terrible. Somebody said that get a good trainer, get the best trainer, and you'll get more... What's it called? You'll get more training camps than your players, too. Great. Didn't know that. Thank you to whoever suggested that. That's awesome. And we get them. Cool. So hopefully we have the most training camps to send our guys to. Let's simulate up the draft here. I didn't see what pick we got. Don't draft Miles Bridges. I have injuries off. Doesn't even matter. We got lucky. We had the first overall pick. That's awesome. Um, could I trade these two for, like, maybe another first-round pick this year? Um, I don't really want a player. Okay. Um, I might just take future picks for these. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to trade here. Actually, I might just keep them all. I'm just going to keep them all, I think, and I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to keep them all, and then I believe I'm probably going to go ahead and just see who's there because you never know. Sometimes there's steals there. So I'm going to probably take Michael Porter Jr. first overall, and I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings who else I drafted in the draft. So with the first overall pick, I did go ahead and take Michael Porter Jr., as I said I was going to. And then with the 28th pick, Isaac Bongo was still there. Um, 73 overall for the 28th overall pick in the draft is not bad. He's definitely still has some potential. Then I have no idea who Dazan Musa is. Um, I let the CPU do this pick for me. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, so team player options, Prince. I will bring back, I guess. I might trade him, though, just because we did just draft two small forwards. or actually three, but only two are going to crack the rotation. So Demon does accept same with Muscala. Probably going to trade at least Muscala, and then Brusino and Taylor can both walk. I don't mind that. So free agency this year. I don't know if I'm going to be spending a lot of money. I might spend, like, might get, like, one decent size contract. Malcolm Delaney definitely not offering the qualifying there. So let's just see right now what I could get for, first of all, bazemore has got to go. I do not need that on my team. $18 million. Just, I don't know why they gave him that contract. TLC is not bad. Does he have another year after this? He does. I might just take um, TLC. Pat Beverly... We don't really need a point guard, though. Um, yeah, let's take some Timothy Luau. I don't really ever trade for him. It's relatively good trade because, A, it's a salary dump, and, B, it's a nice bench player. Um, so let's see. What else do I want to do with this team? Um, Ish Smith is probably going to go to – here, let's see. So point guard right now, you know what? Smith honestly isn't a terrible backup. So if it comes down to it and I need a cap space, I might trade him. But – um, okay, so Miles Plumley has to go. Second round pick, definitely, okay. Totally forgot I even had him. And then, huh, who else did I want to trade? Ah, uh, Muscala. Mike Muscala has got to go too. So, free agency this year, it might be interesting. I can get, wow, I can get Tristan Thompson. Um, free agency is going to be interesting. Zubach is here. Zubach is here. I mean, I'd just be stupid not to do that. And then, does our pick have a lot of trade value next year? Hold on. Or, er, hold on. Oh, my God. What offers? Can I get, like, Porzingis for this? If I can get, like, Kristaps Porzingis, I'm doing this, whatever trade it is. Hold on. Here we go. Let me just see what offers. I can get Lowry Marketing. Kevin Love. Okay. Dundra Aiden Wiggins. I don't need a small forward, though. All right. I kind of want Porzingis. Just please tell me. Wait. Did I already go? Okay. Here we go. Player finder, power forward, slash center. Porzingis is still on a nice deal. This pick next year for him. And I will give you, and I don't really want to give up TLC. I will give you Musa, who does have a star and a half. And I will give you my pick that this year, or two years. And then I'll just load up with second round picks. Come on. Take the trade. I will give you, I'll give you Dwayne Demon too. How does Dwayne Demon only have one star trade value? Ish Smith, he definitely has two stars. Come on, man. Take the trade. I really want Porzingis. So who else could possibly like this canard? Okay. This is a must or the most I'm willing to do. Our first round pick next year, Dazan Musa, another first round pick, a second round pick, Ish Smith and Luke Kennard for Christoph Porzingis. If they do not take this, then I'm going to move on. Yeah, I'm moving on. Honestly, what's throwing on trade finder is nothing even there. So it happens. Um, What? Like, I don't really know what I want. Like, because I'm, we're not, we're, I'm planning on being at least decent next year. Like, I'm planning on signing one decent free agent. Between okay, so we have a point guard and small forward set for next year. So Larry Markinen is here. Kevin Love's here. He's not a guy I trade for a lot, but I really don't want to give up John Collins. Um, DeAndre Ayton is here too. Victor Oladipo, Wiggins. I might just take McCollum. I think I am going to take CJ McCollum. Can you keep Alfred Camino? Yeah, that makes literally no sense, but okay. 
Welcome to the team, CJ McCollum. You're definitely going to help improve us next year. Definitely probably going to be our leading scorer. And now where? Who else? Uh, Al Farouk Aminu making $7 million. No thank you at all. Okay. Not terrible. I think that actually worked out. Oh, that's our pair. Okay, trading was broken for a second. I thought I was getting Lowry marketing um, for Al Farouk Aminu, and I was like, what the hell? But it's all good. It's all good. Um, offers. Can I just get a first? First round pick from the Knicks for Al Farouk Aminu. That's awesome. So, Cap space wise, right now, we're still doing relatively well. We definitely probably have enough for a max free agent after we release all the cap holds. Hopefully, there's at least one. Uh, hopefully. Uh, so, moratorium. Um, we actually only have 27 million. Actually, no, we have more than that. Um, but I'm not going to get Kevin Durant. But Demarcus Cousins is interesting. He does have fuck. He has four offers. He's going to go back to the Pelicans. Ah, I don't need Paul George. Melo's making too much. Damn, free agency this year is kind of weak. Oh, man. All right. I think, like, all right, who's Melo have an offer from? If it's not from the Thunder, it's from the Nets. It's one year for 20, or actually, I'm too far off. So I need to trade somebody making, like, $3 million right now. I think that's going to be Ish Smith. He's making $6 million, actually. So Ish Smith, goodbye. Um, first round pick, possibility. Pat Beverly straight up, man. Damn, but I think I'm going to take Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier is fine. And we did just clear up, I believe, the $3 million that it would require, or at least close enough that we'd have a better offer than the Nets. Let's throw Melo this contract. Hopefully, he'll accept it. And I believe I'm probably going to trade. Yep, there we go. I do have to all the um or release all their, what's it called? Cap holds or whatever the hell it's called. So, Melo, welcome to the team. I'm definitely probably going to trade you. Uh, if not the now, definitely at the start of the season. But I'd be willing to look at offers for you now. Just because, okay, no offers. We're going to have to do this manually. So I'm just going to do it at the start of next season. Uh, do we have bird rights in anybody important? No, we do not. Um, do we have a mid-level exception? Yeah, $4 million. Okay. Nobody here we can probably get on a mid-level exception. Like, we can actually get Marco Bellinelli back. But I don't really want Marco Bell or Bellinelli back. O'Quinn's not bad. I don't know why I can't get him on the mid-level exception. Um, isn't it? Oh, it's 4.48. I thought it was 4.88. Um, I'll give him the offer if he'll accept it. Um... Or his only offer, maybe he'll accept it. Kylo Quinn? Nope, he goes to the Clippers. All right, whatever. Um, I'm just going to see if you probably sign a bunch of players for me, and I'll bring in JaVale McGee on it. Okay, never mind. No, I won't. I'll bring in Aaron Baines, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. So we do need a better center, and Carmelo Anthony, I really don't want him on this team anymore. I do want Michael Porter Jr. getting as many minutes as possible. So, Car so Carmelo Anthony and Tyler Dorsey for Joel Embiid and Miles Plumlee, we are taken back. I kind of want this trade to go through, so I'm willing to give up a pretty good amount of picks for it. I'd, I'll give up four first-round picks on it if it requires it. Four first-round picks. Wow. They don't do it. Okay. Um, can we do this for – I, I kind of get Whiteside a lot, and he's in the last year of his deal. So, could I do this for Gobert maybe? So, Anthony, and then – what's the wrong with this? Damn, $9 million more. Um, Dante Exum. What is wrong with this? Jazz would acquire... Oh, my God. This is so annoying. Okay, I will give you Dorsey, and you can give me... Who's your least player? Oh, my God. This is annoying me. Okay. And I will give you... Not Zubach. Okay, I'll give you TLC, too. Good God. This is going to annoy me. All right, I'm going to figure out a trade, and I'll be back. So since it has been a while since I have traded for Hassan Whiteside, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this deal with Miami Heat, sending them Carmelo Anthony and Tyler Dorsey for Hassan Whiteside, Matthew Delvadova. Uh, Dorsey and Delvadova are just in there just so the money works out. Let's see if this does go through, and it does go through, which I'm kind of happy about. Honestly, at the end of the day, I do need an improved center, and I do want Michael Porter Jr. getting as many minutes as possible. Uh, so I'm not really too mad about that. I think Zubach, I'm going to change to a power forward just so I can make the rotation. Look, actually, he's 6'1", he's 7 feet, but who's the better shooter? Um, Zubach is the way better shooter, so neither of them are great shooters. But, okay, the rotation's not terrible. Honestly, I think we're definitely a playoff team. So Schroeder, McCollum, Porter, Collins, and Whiteside off the bench. Zubach, Prince, Debman, Rozier. Uh, and Aaron Baines. Honestly, I don't think Aaron Baines is going to get any minutes. I think these minutes are going to go to Luke Kennard just because he definitely is younger and I think he definitely has more upside. So, Devin's actually going to play around 14 and move him down. And I think I'm going to give around 18 um, to Luke Kennard. So, rotation's not terrible. Scoring options, I think I'm going to go McCullum, um, McCullum, Porter, and then Schroeder. Uh, Porter and then Schroeder. So, I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Hopefully, we can be a top three seed in the Eastern Conference. So Stephen Curry wins another MVP here at the end of season number two. 30 and a half points, five rebounds, eight and a half assists, two and a half steals, no block. Luka Doncic wins rookie of the year. That's unfortunate. I really would have liked to get Michael Porter Jr., but, I mean, at the end of the day, we went 68 and 14, so I really can't complain about anything. James Johnson, sixth man of the year for the Heat. 
Gobert, even the player of the year. I would have liked to get Gobert, but I'm fine with Whiteside. I do have to resign him in the offseason. Zach Collins, most improved. Uh, not bad. And Steve Kerr, coach of the year, as the Warriors go 69 and 13, first in the East. We're one game behind them, but of course we are in the East. Or did I say first in the East? I meant first in the West. Of course we are in the East. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so let's check out the standings. We were 12 games up on the Cavs, who re signed Isaiah Thomas, um, Jay Crowder. They have Michael Kigilchrist. Who did they trade for Michael Kigilchrist? Okay. That doesn't make much sense to me, but. Whatever, it happens. Uh, player stats on the year. CJ McCollum, Madison scoring, then Michael Porter Jr., Dennis Schroeder, Whiteside, Zubach, Collins, Kennard. Good team. Uh, rebounds was obviously Whiteside, then it was Collins and Porter, and assists was Schroeder, McCollum, and then Luke Kennard, who is up to a 7-8 overall, by the way. So we are taking on Luke Kennard's old team, actually, in the first round, the Detroit Pistons. We should sweep them. I actually don't know how we won 68 games. Like I feel like that's kind of a lot, especially for having a rookie small forward and a second-year power forward, but I guess... You know what? It happens. And okay. So the Cavs put us in our place. We lose to them. Warriors and Cavs once again. The Warriors sweep them. And Stephen Curry is your final MVP. So on to year number three. Hopefully we can get a championship done. I felt like we were way too, like, I feel like our record didn't actually show how good we were. I felt like we were actually roughly like a 55-win team. Uh, maybe not a 68-win team. But you know what? 2K simulation is absolutely retarded sometimes. So whatever. It happens. Um, draft. I don't think we have any picks. I'm pretty sure I traded a lot of them. Actually, that's a terrible thing to say because that's a lie um let's see two first from the Cavs. works for me why not i doubt we have cap space like i just i don't think we have any like at all um team player options white side does decline that's no shock collins up to an 83 i will actually take that i'm definitely bringing him back same with T um turian prince i'm pretty sure i'm butchering that same with tlc and Bembry can walk honestly he's not even gonna be in the rotation so Whiteside is obviously somebody I do want to bring back. Rozier and Zubach are also guys I want to bring back. But again, at the end of the day, they're just kind of role players. So LeBron is here. I have an oh my god, I have enough money for LeBron. I think this is the first time that I've ever had enough money for LeBron. And he has no offer. So here's what I'm going to do. I think if I do this right, if I do this right. So Whiteside, please come back to me right now. White, no. I have to wait till moratorium's over, I think. I believe. Wait. No, LeBron has an offer. From the Cavs. Shit. What's the offer? for? Okay, he's definitely going to go back. But wait. I know there's a way that I can do this where I can get both Whiteside and LeBron. At the end of the day, if I can only get one of them, it's going to be LeBron, obviously. Nah, damn it. That sucks. That really sucks. I think I should be able to get somebody else. Like, I think there is a way. So if I throw an offer at Kemba. Actually, wait. I'm going to wait till Moratorium's over. Okay. More, so Moratorium's not... I'm such an idiot. Where did Whiteside just go? Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Where? What team is he on? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't even see he had an offer. That's things. That's his total L. You can let the L's just rack up in the comment section. That's an L, but you know what? I have cap space to sign Kemba Walker now. And now I'm probably going to trade either Schroeder or Kemba. Wait, he has, wait, does he have any offers? He does have an offer from... How do the Hornets have enough cap space for both Whiteside and Walker? Now, I have a shit ton of money to Kemba Walker, which I'm probably honestly just going to trade him back for Whiteside, which hopefully he accepts this offer, so it's not an issue. Player option. Okay, where's number one offer? Thank God. Okay, Dwayne Demon's cap hold has got to go. Okay, that sucks that we lost out on Whiteside, but honestly, can I just do kind of a switch back? Like... Where is Hassan Whiteside and where is the Hornets? They're right. Okay, there they are. Kemba, please. You're not getting both. Like, no. Kemba for Whiteside. <laughs> Simple as that. I don't really care. I definitely probably, probably could have gotten more, but at the end of the day, I would have just resigned him anyway. So it really doesn't mean it's really not that big of a deal, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Cap space, I doubt we have any more money. Um, $5 million for like. Nobody here even wants five million dollars, but I do want to bring back um, what's his name? I don't even have cat. I don't even have bird rights on like Terry Rozier. Okay, um, so I guess T.J. McConnell wouldn't. Okay, I guess T.J. McConnell would be a bad backup because I don't have enough cap space for him. Um, hopefully he'll accept that. T.J., please accept this deal. T.J. T.J. McConnell, welcome to the team. So not a bad backup point guard option. I still might look to improve with the starting point guard option depending how Schroeder progresses. Um, so let's see. Yeah, no bird rights on Rozier. Oh, it's Malik Beasley. I thought it was Mike or what is his name? Yeah, Michael Beasley. Yeah, I don't know why I'm sounding like an idiot right now. Justin Anderson, not a bad contract for a 25 year old. 
Cool, works for me. I'm going to let the CPU sign a bunch of players, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number three with possibly one or two trades. So since we do not need any more backup guards and we do need a backup big man, I'm going to go ahead and try to trade TLC for Scalabissier. Um, I'm willing to throw in, not really first, but I'm willing to throw in like a couple seconds maybe. <sighs> maybe one first, but can I get this to go just go through three seconds? All right, I'll give you one future first, but I'm going to take out two seconds. And they agree to that. So Scalabus here, welcome to the team. Um, he is going to be our backup center. We do kind of need a, some at least one backup big man off the bench. Um, so now Delvadova. If I could get like a backup four for him, I wouldn't mind. So let's just look at offers for Delvadova. He's also making $9 million, which I'm not a fan of, but... This is the last year, so I really don't care too much. So any, like, big man kind of, like, John Luer's not bad. Derek Favors? Okay, I didn't think Derek Favors would be an option, but Derek Favors is apparently an option. So this team's actually looking relatively solid. No 90s at all, actually, which is kind of kind of cool. Some, something I can do every day. And then um, Prince, I kind of want to get admit. I kind of wanted to get admitted to Isaac Bonga, but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, so is Schroeder a guy that I want to keep? He's only an 83 overall. If I were to throw him up, Dennis Schroeder, and two first-round picks. If I could get a serious improvement or, like, what's getting close to a serious improvement, I would definitely consider, like, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert is kind of nice. Colin Sexton, but, you know, there's just not much here. There's just really not much there. Um, player finder, I can look at some point guards, like, Lonzo's definitely not going to happen. Like, Mike Connolly's an improvement, but I doubt the cap situation is going to be able to work out for this. Not John Collins. I meant to go for Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, we're making $13 million more, and I don't really think I have any, like, seriously ugly contracts. Yeah, this is just not going to work. Um, trade Finder. I mean, if Schroeder's in there, but I'm not giving you white side, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really want Kemba. D'Angelo Russell would be nice. So would Eric Bledsoe. De'Aaron Fox is kind of nice. But mm, would I do Dennis Smith? How much cap space do Schroeder? Okay, so they would take a $9 million more. Okay, Jesus, they have a bunch of ugly contracts. I'll take Omar Ashik so you somehow have for a huge deal. And, okay, and I think I'll give you a few first-round picks. I feel like I'd rather have Dennis Smith than Dennis Schroeder at the end of the day just because I feel like I like that explosiveness at the point guard position. So uh, Dennis Smith, CJ McCollum, Michael Porter Jr., John Collins, and Hassan Whiteside off the bench, Scalabissier, Derek Favors, Turian Prince, CJ McCollum, and Luke Kennard. Uh, so we'll see you guys at the end of season number three. Hopefully we win a championship with this Hawks team. So Steph Curry does win his third MVP award of this video. It seems like he's actually winning it every year after the new update. Uh, he does average 25 points, 4 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 2.5 half steals. Cameron Reddish, Rookie of the Year. Okay, it seems like it was always... What's his name? Why am I forgetting his name now? Zion. I'm an idiot. Um, But Cameron Reddish actually wins. He was the third overall pick in last year's draft. Okay, kind of cool to see Zion not win it. James Johnson, once again, six men of the year. DeAndre Jordan, Defensive Player of the Year. He's also somebody I could have traded for, I realized, but... Uh, I didn't, obviously. I got Whiteside. Muhammad Bamba wins most improved. Uh, he was the fourth overall pick two years ago. And Steve Kerr wins coach of the year once again as the Warriors go 65-17 and 17 first in the West. No shock there. So any Hawks on these All-NBA teams or anything like that? Nope. Nope. Just being slept on, man. Being slept on. But we did go 63-19. I believe that's five games worse than last year. I mean... This is kind of an accurate record for this team. I don't. Know, I still don't know how we won 68 games last year. We were 15 games up on the Cavs, who literally killed us last year. Now they have Vucevic. Okay. About time the Cavs got a real center. So, Gene McCollum let us in scoring, then Mike Porter, uh, and then Hassan Whiteside, and then Dennis Smith Jr., then Scalabist here, John Collins, Derek Favors, Turian Prince. Uh, rebounds was Collins. Collins actually averaged more rebounds than Whiteside. Okay. Uh, Collins, Whiteside, then Porter in assist was Smith, McCollum, and then McConnell. All right, first round, eight-seeded Celtics, who somehow are an eight-seed. Maybe they lost Kyrie. Um, I'm guessing they did. Nope, they – okay. This, how is this an eight-seed? I couldn't tell you, but okay, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, can we please – no, we're not losing. Thank you. On to these finals. Take on the Hornets, who we made that trade with, obviously, after we kind of just swapped stars for, like – Five seconds, and we sweep them. Taking on the Warriors. Oh, boy, I'm guessing they re-signed Kevin Durant because they seem like they're absolutely sick. They did. Again, they added that in the patch, I'm guessing. I mean, who suggested it first? It was me, but come on. Here we go. We're going to beat the Warriors. Yes, we beat the Warriors. CJ McCollum, finals MVP, 20, 24 points pretty much, six assists, three rebounds, one steal. Nice. I will absolutely take that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this Hawks rebuild. If you did, let me know down below in the comment section along with any other video ideas. Um, 
honestly, I'm kind of open to any other ideas at this point because I'm kind of just running. I'm oh, sorry, I hit something on the table. I'm kind of running out of video ideas, and I always like the video ideas. I did see the All European Players Challenge, which I would like. I just don't know if there's enough players in that to win a championship. Let me know some like European players that you would want me to get down below in the comment section. I don't know if you're considering players that are from like a foreign country, not out or not the U.S., or they had to go to like college outside the U.S. Just let me know. Let me know um, any other video ideas, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.